It's been said that there is one word that's more pleasing to the ear than any other. And that word is a person's name. What do you feel when you hear yours? My name's Eric, that's what people call me, but just like you, I'm known by other titles too. Dad, brother, son, neighbor, friend, coach, and pastor. Eric is the name I was given, but it's not all of who I am. Now, throughout most of human history, a name was more than a word to be called, but an indicator of an identity. Built into a name was purpose and power, community, worth, and value. And this is why just the mention of a name can invoke fear and dread inside of us or delight and wonder. There are names so beautiful we love to speak them and names so hideous we vow to never say them. And among all the names throughout all of human history, one name stands alone. One name still has the power to produce a range of thoughts and emotions and reactions in people like no other, Jesus. His name means God saves. And what does his name make you feel? What does it make you think? No other name has a ring like it. No other name packs a punch like it. It's the name Jesus. Why? because he said things that no one else has ever said. He did things that no one else has ever done. He is who no one else will ever be. Lord, Savior, Messiah, King, and God. And there is one event that proves Jesus is who he says he is. One event that proves every one of his names true. And it's why we are gathered today. That event is called the resurrection. And it's the resurrection that validates the name of Jesus Christ. And more than that, it validates the identity of everyone who identifies as one of his, a Christian. Now, what does that word mean to you? You might, like me, associate it with hypocrisy or judgment, rules or politics, but that wasn't always the case. It was a name that I thought was just for the churchy people or the good people or the religious people. And if it's that way, it's not for me. It wasn't and it isn't for me. But here's the thing, name and identity, they used to go hand in hand, but not so much anymore. Although we in this room have been named, many of us in this room are still searching for an identity. And this is why many people have a name to be called, but still ask the question, who am I? We all need an identity that goes beyond just a name, an identity that no failure could take away, no person could take away, not even death could take away. You know what identity that might be for you? It's Christian. And for some, we embrace that title with joy for others. We feel like we just never could. But when you understand who he is, bearing his name isn't just bearable, it's delightful. Now, welcome to Easter at SMCC.